Hello everyone, I was bored on Taobao to find all kinds of video capture cards. I happened to see this one. He said that he could output 4030. I bought it with the mentality of being cheated. How could a 4030 Fs to me? I played it on my computer's pot player. Open. Its name is SB 3.0 Video Capture Card. You can see that there are various resolutions. One of them is 3840 to 160. This is 4Ks. Then this is NV12 without compression. If there is a compressed MEPEG. Wow, that's even better. He can go up to 3840 to 160 for 60 frames. It can be higher, 4096 to 160 60 frames. But MEPEGs due to its compression. It will cause too much burden on your CPU. So we usually use NV12 for testing. This is what makes sense. This is 3840 times 2160. Open up. I use a multimedia player now. HDMI resolution set to 4000 output. I played a video. Take a look at his information. The UVC output is 3840 times 2160 30 Fs. As a result, this one can really be 4030. NV12 output. I see. This capture card has a built-in latest IC. It's called Miz 2130S. This IC is a next generation version of the Miz 2130. Its video output resolution can go up to 4030. So, I just made a random video. It's the last one. I didn't expect everyone to respond so well. Our video today. It is for this Miz 2130S. Do a more detailed test. The first thing I want to share with you is to say. Don't think that this shell is like this. It is Miz 2130S. You may be able to buy the first generation Miz 2109. The lowest level is likely to be the second generation Miz 2130. It is also possible that it is the latest. Because this shell is a male mold. You don't know what I see you have hidden in it. So you have to buy it on Taobao yourself. If you want to take a screenshot of this picture and search. You have to be especially careful. You might buy the wrong one. The second thing I want to share with you is to say. Although he is the output of 4030. But his edit is still the same. 1080p DID, edit means telling the HDMI video source in front. Please throw in the video resolution I want. Let's do an experiment with two laptops. This laptop is used as an HDMI video source. Throw it out here. Then, OBS here captures the picture of this one. Is there one? It was he who projected it onto him. So how do I know EDID? Let's look at the right-click display settings on this screen. Here, here, at the bottom is called advanced. Let's look at the second one, this place. You can see that his resolution is 1080p. In other words, this capture card. He will tell the HDMI image source in front. Please throw this 1080p to me. This does not mean that he cannot eat 4K. It's just that he defaults to eating 1080p. Then you can also go buy it. The so-called edit controller on the market. There is a setting for this thing. Please throw out the default resolution as much as possible. You can throw 4K. You can throw 1080p, etc. Go and actively tell the HDMI video source in front of you. Throw in the desired resolution. But in this case, its default is EDID at 1080p. Also, I went through some tests. Let me share it with you. Some disadvantages of this video capture card. He doesn't have a crack of HDCP. You look at the previous generation and the previous to generations MS2109. MS2130 has HDCP cracks. This one has no HDCP crack. This one connects to Sony's Blu-ray DVD. Look, I'll plug it in. Open it. He only flashed once. Flash. Wait until it turns off by itself. It goes black. So he didn't crack it. Let's try it. We need to connect another hacker for this HDCP. It cracked. HDMI for the player. Connect to this one cracker. The HDMI output of the cracker is connected to this capture card. Let's open it again. All horrible things in your life. The second thing. This one has a variety of UVC resolutions. There is UV. 
there's NV12, there is MayGP, there is RGB. Among them, this RGB, it is upside down. The third thing, this part of the video delay, this video delay, if its video source is 1080p, I compare it with Avermedia BU113. The difference in video latency between the two, it was about 50ms. First of all, I tested that the HDMI source is 1080p. We don't have the kind of device that can test this absolute latency. So I'm going to compare a BU113 with a roundabout one. But Avermedia BU113, it's EDID, it is 4000. So I string an extra dispenser. Then add a retainer for this EDID. And you see, this is the resolution it displays on this computer. You see, it's all 1080p here. So I promise, it comes out through this dispenser. Connecting Avermedia capture card is 1080p. What am I going to do later? I will first measure it according to such a device. A number comes out. And then the same principle. I also tested this number. Then I subtract those two numbers. I can tell you, this capture card is the same as the BU113. The difference in delay, suppose BU113 officially claims to be this 50ms, I'll add this difference, or just subtract it, I open a stopwatch. Alright, let's start testing. Notice the difference between these two numbers. I put him in full screen, I'll go full screen together later. Okay, that's it. Notice the difference between these two numbers. Measure it this way. The latency of Avermedia BU113 is around 90 ms. Please be careful, this number 90, this absolute number is not always correct. You just need to write down this number. Wait on this for a moment. I measured it using the same method. There will also be a number. My number is meaningful only when it is subtracted from the number of Avermedia. Okay, I now measure it to be 90 ms. It is based on such a device. Okay, then I'll switch to this one now but I had to understand what the EDID was. Let's take a look at the advanced here. The same is, the display is 1920108OP. We are all in the same condition now. This is how the test will be accurate. I can open this OBS. We used the same conditions. This number was measured. Probably 150. The original cylinder just now was calculated to be 9100 ms. Avermedia is 50 ms different from this one. It is 50 ms less. It has an additional 50 ms like this. Then if video 4000 comes in. Also 4000 comes in. The difference between their two video originals. There is no difference. It's about 10 ms. It's the same thing. The HDMI I'm outputting now is for 1000. How can I prove it? Look over here. There is an advanced side here. Then select the second one. Then there is a 3840 to 160 written here. It means that he is for 1000. And then the same principle. I'll type another stop meter here. Then the computer here will do the extraction. I choose 3840 to 160. Let's take a look at this Avermedia capture card first. In such an environment, what is the measured absolute latency? Full screen display. Let's compare the differences between the numbers of these two stopwatches. You can take a look. It is probably around 180 to 200 ms. The same reasoning, although the EDID of this one is 1080p. But I used this one edit retainer. Let this computer force out for 1000. The same is 3840260. Then we're on the OBS side. I'll catch it too. UVC of 3840-160. 3840-160. I didn't lie to you. You can see such a delay. It was about 190 to 200 ms. So if you want to do 4000 extraction, the video delay of this one, and Avermedia BU113, there is no difference. Okay, I'm going to share it with you next. This video capture card is used in a wide variety of applications. First of all, this video capture card. You can play Nintendo Switch on your laptop. The Nintendo Switch has an HDMI output on the back. Pull this thread out. I first connected the capture card to the computer, and then connected. Let's turn on the computer's OBS again. Then there is something called adding a video device here. Catch it. 
There is a USB 3.0 device. There is a video. Then you need sound. Capture sound input. And here's a this. You can see that the sound here is also moving, but I have to turn it on. Will there be a sound? Because we need to hear sound when we play video. Okay, so there's a sound. And then you have to go full screen. There is a window projection on the right click side. Okay, at this time, your laptop will be used as a screen. Come again. What I want to share is to say, this simple card is played on Android. Nintendo's Switch. Please prepare a USB-C hub or USB-C OTG. I use OTG for demonstrations. Connect the video capture card to your Android and go there. Then download this app. Open this UVC after downloading. The screen is on your Android. This allows you to play electricity. Let's demonstrate it once. Some people ask if this can be used on the iPad. If it is a USB-C interface, and his operating system is Epados 17 and above, then this one can be used. If your iPad is a Lightning interface, that must not Please work. Please prepare a USB-C hub. Anyone is fine. Two or three hundred yuan is enough. Okay, connect it again. There is an app called Janky. Please download it, then open it again and there will be live video. You see, we can start playing Nintendo Switch. Can iPhone be used? The iPhone must not work. It works on iPad, but not on iOS, because they are built into iOS. There is no driver with this UVC built in, so it can't be used, of course, if you insist on using it. You can string this one from our company. USB camera streaming adapter, guaranteed to work as well. There are two types of one iPhones. One is a USB-C iPhone. The same goes for the USB-C iPhone. Prepare this hub for USB-C. The words of the Lightning iPhone. Preparing for a Lightning to USB 3 converter. This cannot directly connect the capture card. This is not working. You have to go through a converter. It's called this one. This one is called USB camera streaming adapter. Connect this capture card to the webcam port. This makes the iPhone so troublesome, like this. And here's an iOS output. We connected to the converter just now. This white one. Then USB-C uses the hub of USB-C. It's lightning. You can use this lightning to USB 3 converter. Okay, after connecting, please download an app. App name is MediaLink Switcher. It looks like this when you open it. Use finger to touch and turn right way. Add eye capture. At this time, I can play Nintendo Switch on this iPhone. Let's summarize. This one is very small. It is the built-in MIS-213 OS. This chip. It can make your UVC output up to 4030 frames. But his EDID is only 1080p. This means that you have to force the HDMI devices outside. Force throw this 4000 out. There are many ways to enforce it. What EDID controller can you use? Anything is fine. Then its hardware can really eat this 4000 HDMI. Throwing out 4K UVC is no problem, but he deliberately wrote it as an EDID of 1080p. The second thing, he is a crack without HDCP, so if you want to rip Blu-ray DVD those, there is no way to do it at the moment. Then it can be used on Android. You can use it on iPad without any problems. There are no problems with notes either. That doesn't work on the iPhone. If you really want to use it, you need to wear more of our company's USB camera streaming adapter. The two can be used together. Anyway. The price of this one, the current retail price is about RMB 100. Then I expect that in two years, it will slowly fall down to now. 
MIS-2130 for the same price. Finally, I want to share with you that it is. If you want to buy it on Taobao today, don't think that this shell is the same. It's not like that. That's not the case. Because this is a male model, it is possible. MIS-2109 MIS-2130 The latest generation is called MIS-2130S. So you may be able to buy the previous generation or the previous generation because the person who sells this kind of thing doesn't know what he's selling. So be especially careful about this risk.